Cuando usted quiera. ¿Lo voy? Sí. Ok. Hey. Uh, I don't receive an award like this very often. So far, only once in 83 years. At the rate I'm going, I'd have to wait until after my 166th birthday to have another opportunity to explain such an important concept to such a wonderful audience. The important concept is structural humiliation. The wonderful audience is you. Structural humiliation has a flip side. It is create dignified livelihoods that do not depend on jobs. Digni humiliation is the problem. Dignified livelihoods are the solution. They're two sides of the same coin. Now, structural humiliation, did I say that right? Structural humiliation is the inevitable consequence of a labor market that depends on sales revenues. The employees make goods and services, the firm sells them, and part of the money from sales goes to pay their wages. This is the metal box that we're in. Now, thinking globally, in the modern world system, the overall result is that the people who need to sell something to, to get some money vastly outnumber the employers who find it profitable to hire them. Is that clear? Now, similarly, it's impossible to lift all the poor out of poverty by making them all into micro entrepreneurs with micro businesses. Believe me, it's mathematically impossible. So inevitably, millions will be humiliated. They cannot perform as a human being is expected to perform. They can't comply with normal expectations like dressing nicely, paying bills, supporting your kids. So a world where decent jobs are scarce is a win or lose world. In the ensuing conflict, racism, sexism, mass migration, prejudice against migrants, violence against truth, violence against basic civility, and violence against Mother Earth become inevitable. You think about that, that you know, see how it, how it has to happen. Therefore, in a world like ours, where good jobs are scarce and somebody's got to lose, we've got to make a win-win world. How do we do that? An ethical imperative. Create dignified livelihoods that do not depend on sales. Donate regularly to a nonprofit. Your donation helps, combined with others, to create a good job for somebody. Now, at the level of public policy, move income from natural resources to the public purse. An example would be Norway's huge sovereign wealth fund. Then from the public purse, pay people to reforest after fires and in general to save humanity from ecological disaster. No more worthy work could be more dignified and there is a way to pay for it. There's more than one. So these two examples, one, one, one is where I donate to a nonprofit, the other is where the state gets control of natural resources and recycles that money to create dignity. Those, these examples could be multiplied over and over with many more. So when you understand the problem and find, you start thinking about what the problem is and how to solve it, you'll find that the positive possibilities are unbounded.